Bitmint, we argue that the uh, prevailing uh, cryptographic paradigm, which is based on, on algorithmic complexity, is coming to an end. Let's see where it started. It began in 1936 when Alan Turing published a paper that eventually changed and transformed civilization. It became the blueprint for all the computers that have changed and transformed our life. Alan Turing described a machine where you have an input, a string of bits, the machine has a program built into it and it comes up with an output, another string of bits. And he has shown that this machine is equivalent to the mathematical concept of a function, y, f, x, which was known by mathematicians for centuries. And he described a cranking machine that is equivalent to a function. What he then did, he classified those machines to three categories, easy, hard, and never. The easy machines are those that uh, you have the input coming in very quickly, the output comes out. Hard are those that keep cranking and cranking before the output comes out. And never are those that crank and crank and crank and never develop an answer. The category of hard Turing machines is the basis of modern cryptography. The problem with this hardness is that what is hard for me may not be hard for the hacker who is after me. For the last dec decades, complexity theory tried to provide with a proof that hardness is universal, that what's hard for me is going to be hard for anyone who is after me. We haven't proven that. From these three categories, let's first start with the most intriguing one, the never, meaning a category that says that there are functions for which we cannot build a machine that would be equivalent to. Here is what Turing said. A program, P, is data. If it's data, it can be represented as a series of bits, a string. A string of data is the most basic data structure that can represent any data of any form. It's universal. So whatever the program is, it can be reduced to a string. Let's call the string n. Now, what if we take this n and feed it as an input? The same number that represents the program will be fed as input. Now, something will come out. Or not. So we have here a machine M, machine, that uses a program N, which is P equals N, on input N, and it comes out with some output. Maybe. But the machine is well defined. You know what input you put in, N, you know what program is there, and it may crank out an answer, or may not. Now, let's define a function, f of x, this way. It's a Turing machine that has a program x, and you feed an input x, and you add 1. Now, Turing has shown that this f does not have an equivalent machine that will compute 
the f of x. His argument was a little bit tricky, but here is how it goes. If there is such a machine, this machine should, for x, give the result of mx of x. But fx is defined as mx of x plus 1. So it's a contradiction which is resolved only by the conclusion that there is no such a machine. Because such a machine has a contradiction between having to generate this by definition of what this uh, symbolism is, as a machine that produces the result of the program as an input, and the definition that says it is this plus one impossible. So this is a function that has no equivalent Turing machine. That's a never category. The most famous never machine that uh, Turing has shown relates to the question of can we build a machine that will tell us if a particular combination will result with an output or will crank forever without giving an output. So, what Turing say is, let's take the number that is represented by the program and the number that represents by the input and generate a new input into a machine that will give us an output, a binary, 0 or 1, which is the answer to, is it a never situation, this combination, this combination, or is it resulting in an answer? Let's say 0 is never, 1 is, there is an answer. And he has shown that such a machine is itself in the never category, that you cannot have a machine that for every combination of input and program will tell you if it is going to be a forever cranking or result in an answer. An interesting subtle point about this, which is important for cryptography, what this shows is that there is no machine that will give the answer for every possible combination of an input and a problem. But of course, for every chance or practical combination, we can have a program that will tell us if it holds or, or goes forever. That's the difference. Cryptographers are mathematicians, hackers are engineers, and that's why we have such problem with winning the cyber war. More next time.